everyone, welcome to my channel. It's your awesome girl Chaz, and I'm coming to you guys with another video. Now, this video is gonna be on my cute slash sexy slash girly favorites of the month. And I'm doing this because I got to California and I found a lot of cute slash sexy things. And I know with us girls with TWAs, it's real, I don't wanna say it's hard to look sexy, but it takes a lot of effort just for the simple fact that our male counterparts have the same hairstyle we have so you kind of want to find what you can do to sexy it up a bit and that's what i found now the first thing that i found first first thing you've probably seen it all over my instagram because i'm literally in love with it and if you haven't i'll leave my instagram somewhere on the screen so you can see me rocking it definitely follow is this hat Yes, I got this hat at H&M for $12.99. Now, y'all know in California, $12.99 came out to about $14, $15, but it was definitely worth it. When I get back home, I'm definitely gonna go to H&M and buy another one. Now, what I love about this hat is, it has this adjustable strap in the back. The reason I love that is because your girl has a big old head. The circumference of my head, the length, the everything about it is just massive, okay? So I love this adjustable strap so I don't have to be worrying about buying the head, it don't fit, blah, blah, blah. And I also love these ears. Like, let me put it on for you guys. All right. Bam. Look, look, like... I know everybody's into wearing those little Nike hats and the golfer hats, but this is too cute not to have. And on top of that look, you look like Catwoman, all right? Maybe I'm the only one, but I absolutely love this. Because as you know, the Instagram baddie trend is to have your eyebrows on fleek, your eyelashes popping, and to have you a nice little golfer's hat on. But you know, when you wanna be unique, you gotta switch it up. So definitely, this hat has been my favorite. And what I also love, what gives it that added bit of sexy, like I wear it when I'm um, typically not going anywhere or not doing anything, I'm just trying to look cute real, real quick. I wear it like this with the brim face in the back. But when I'm ready to be sexy, I'll turn it around and I will put it regularly on my head. To go with this hat, I literally bought a black bodycon dress with a very low V-neck and putting this hat on with that uh, little black dress with, you know, the cleavage or whatever, it looks super, super cute. Super cute and super sexy, okay? Super sexy. So definitely get this hat and because I love it so much, I'm gonna wear it for the rest of this video, all right? Now, the next thing I got for the TWA is this headband. Look at this this golden goddess headband. I absolutely love this. I got this from Forever 21 for $5.99. Yeah, $5.99, something around there, very cheap. But I have a big head, as we've already discussed, and it still kind of fits. Like, it doesn't, I don't wanna say it doesn't really fit on top of that with my afro, but when you buy it, if you have a big head, you might wanna like pull it up at the top and kind of stretch it out. That way you can get it to fit like perfectly. But I've worn this, I, I think I took a picture of this on Instagram with me wearing it and I'll leave you know, a picture or you can go to my Instagram and look. And everyone fell in love with this. Mind you, I fell in love too just because I like to look like a goddess. And being a, uh, being a black chick, everyone likes to make it seem like the only people that can kind of be goddesses or people with fairer skin and longer hair. That's not true. If y'all watch Game of Thrones, y'all know what I'm talking about. If you have a TWA, you can definitely get that radiant goddess look. You can definitely get that sexy, that very cute feminine look. Now, what I do recommend with this headband is comb your TWA out. Now, if you use that shampoo detangle brush that I get, I'll do a video on like thing like natural hair uh, tools to get. But if you brush your hair with that shampoo brush or the little kitty brush, and then gently slide this into your hair, like gently, gently slide this into your hair, you will have no tangle issues. Um, that way your hair will be completely tangled out when you shove the combs through and then gently take it out, okay? You can definitely wear this with the TWA and be popping and rocking, but make sure you detangle your hair, please do. 
this um uh, I absolutely love this it, it it gives you that sexy you need when you have a TWA because I don't like to wear big hoop earrings um, with my TWA I just feel like it doesn't give me that sexy I'm looking for with the TWA so I tend to put things in my hair or I tend to make my face up so if hoop earrings because that's what everybody's go to is get some hoop earrings if hoop earrings doesn't work for you I'm pretty sure you will fall in love with your TWA in this all right okay so the next thing I want to rave about is what I have on my purse okay y'all probably gonna laugh again because it has ears and it's furry all right it's this little guy ah. <laughs> I got this little fuzzy guy from wet seal I forgot the price of it I think it was like it was probably like $5.99 to $8.99 because if it was anything more than $10, your girl wasn't going to purchase it. But it's this little fuzzy poof. I know a lot of people are rocking poofs and for the longest time ever I was debating on whether I should buy one just because the only option was to get different colored poofs and different sizes. And it just, it wasn't rocking with me. I needed something more. And I was in Forever 21 buying that headband and this chick, uh, she was standing in front of me in line and she had a white one. And it was on her Michael Kors purse. Like, I was staring so hard, she turned around and was like, yo, what's up? And I had to let her know, like, I was absolutely loving it. I loved it so much, I even took a picture of it. Asked, I tried to, like, buy it from her right then and there. I was like, I'll give you anything in my purse besides my car keys and my cell phone, just if you let me have that puff. I super like, I'm so obsessed with this little puff. Just because it gives you that cuteness and it gives you that, uh, that you know, Instagram baddie or that feminine sexy, you know, it just, it gives you life, this little puff. It just gives you life. And it's a cute little buddy to have around. Next thing that I've absolutely been loving um, to give you that added bit of sexy is lashes like I've been on a lashes like uh, just search one because the mink lashes that are online to me they're they're super expensive like I probably would buy a beautiful set of lashes for $30 but I don't want to have to continuously buy la like one lash one set of lashes for $30 so I've been on the hunt at drugstores, beauty supply stores, anywhere, like especially Ulta, anywhere that I can get like Ardell lashes or just um, Kiss, Envy, any one of those little shops where I can find some lashes. Now when I'm looking for lashes that resemble mink lashes or the fancy lashes, I look for lashes that cross, where the hair is kind of cross and feather, because that feather look will give you that very elegant, very sexy, very put together look. When you get the lashes that um, are, you can't even see through them, like they look like a straight block of hair, and you put that on there, put that on your lash line, I feel like that looks very unattractive, it looks like you don't know how to do your makeup, and you don't know how to find lashes. It doesn't even really look cute. Well actually, it doesn't look cute. I'm not even gonna say really, it doesn't. What looks cute are those nice wispies. You know, you wanna be able to bat your eyelashes and just pixie dust and fairy dust come out. You don't wanna be trying to bat your lashes and you over there swatting flies and whatnot cause your lash is so thick. So I found these by V Lux by Envy in the style Blair. Now I've worn these, I even, um, I even let my, what is it, niece, I let her wear them and they've kind of gotten scratched up and damaged. I'll give you a close up of them. But they're super uh they're super feminine lashes and that's what you want to look for. Very feminine, very dainty, very light lashes. And the next thing you want to do when you're looking for that sexy look with your lashes is you want to cut them. All lashes are not going to come in your eye size. We all have different eyes. So don't be afraid to cut your lashes. It's actually a number one step that you need to do. Like with me learning how to put on lashes, um, I used to look kind of ridiculous, like not sexy, just straight ridiculous, like why does her lashes look like that? And in order to get my lashes to look natural and feminine, you need to cut them to fit your eye. You don't want it to go from 
your end corner all the way to your uh or your outer corner all the way to your inner corner with that one thick strip of lash you definitely want to get these cute feathery ones i got these from uh, what was that? I got these from CC Autumn. It's actually, I think, my cousin. She has that lash line. If you would like to purchase these, comment down below and let me know. Somebody's coming through the door if you can hear that beep beep. Now, the next thing that I've been loving is this Wet n Wild Illuminating Palette. Like, it comes with every single shade that you could want or need for your skin type. It comes with, uh, it comes with gold. It comes with a kind of pinky, like darky pink. And then it comes with a light pink and it comes with a kind of white shimmery illuminator. Now, if you're looking for that iridescent look, you could actually mix all these together and you'd get that uh, iridescent look too. And the reason I like this one so much is because it comes with those two pinks, it comes with the white and it comes with the gold. Now, you might be like, why would you put this in, you know, in this video? Why don't you do a makeup haul? I'm putting this one in here because when you're looking for that sexy look, you want to glow. You want that feminine glow. So illuminators are really important when thinking about your girly or sexy or whatever style you have. You want to make sure you have that glowy skin. Healthy glowing skin kind of equates with beauty. So you want to make sure that your skin is popping. You ever notice, no matter what, when you go on somebody's IG page who's a makeup artist or you go on some celebrity's page, their skin is always popping. It's always glowing. One hack to that is these little um, highlighters. Highlighter, you know, it's the, it's the small details that make us feminine. It's the small details that make us cute and sexy, the small ones. So definitely pick this up. It's by Wet n Wild, their Mega Glow Illuminating Palette. This was, this was probably $5.99. Literally $5.99, does the job, super cute. Um, with along with Wet n Wild, I also got these pink brushes. I love these brushes. And it's so funny because guess how much these brushes are? If you already own these brushes, then I know you know. But for those of you who don't, guess how much these brushes are? This was 99 cent, this was $2.99. And literally, they're cuter than a lot of the brushes on the market for like $25, $30, and that's per brush at that. So this $2.99 brush right here, it has super cute detailing. It has a little thumb indention, so when you're putting on your makeup, your thumb can rest comfortably in the little indent. It has a super minimalist style. I love this pink little cute detail. like. I'm not gonna lie, when I'm putting on my makeup, I like to just think I am the bee's knees. I like all my makeup, my illuminators, everything, super cute. I like, um, I love cute brushes, cause you know, when you're putting on, when you're making your face cute, you wanna use cute products, you know what I'm saying? Your, your illuminator's popping, but your brush looks like a paintbrush. It don't look like no cute little fun makeup brush, so. I definitely suggest getting these because one, they are cheap. Two, they're even cute. So definitely pick these up. Mind you, 99 cent for this eyeshadow brush, 2.99 for this foundation brush. And I actually use this brush to put on my highlighter. Okay, so last but not least, I got these lip glosses by Wet n Wild. Now I have this one and I have this like weird uh, pinky metallic one and I also just have a regular pink lip gloss. I absolutely hate this one. This one that is the pinky metallic. Um, maybe if I had a pink lipstick or if I had a pink lip liner, um, maybe I would like this more but it just comes off on my lips kind of chalky because my bottom lip is kind of pink but then my top lip is brown. So when I put this on, it just doesn't mix very well. But this one right here, the Wet n Wild Lip Gloss, I really love this one. Reason I love it and I love the pink one is because it gives you that instant like, it gives you that instant baddie look. Like I could literally put on no makeup. Okay. I could put on no makeup and just put on this lip gloss and I have that popping look. I have that glow. You could literally put this lip gloss on, the illuminator, and some lashes, throw on a hat, and you have that instant popping look. 
that's why I said these um, and mind you this was it was three for five dollars and I can't show you the pink one even though it's just a regular pink lip gloss honestly it doesn't even look too much different from this white one but I mean on the lips it doesn't look different when I put them on my lips so these are definitely must-haves I'm telling you if you're looking to change up your style if you're looking for an added bit of sexy to your style these things that I've mentioned in this video will really help that and even if you don't like the color or if you don't like the style of what I've mentioned in this video you can definitely get these in different styles like you don't have to um, get this hat there's other hats out there. You don't have to get this lip gloss. There's other colors out there, but these are kind of things that I ran into that are cheap, that I absolutely love. I've been testing them out for the entire month and I've gotten loads of compliments on them. And from what I noticed with myself, they've given me that added bit of sexy that I didn't have before. So definitely check these products out. And my biggest question to you guys is, I'm gonna post a picture right here or somewhere on the screen of me wearing this headband i want to know would you guys like a tutorial on a twa or natural hair goddess look like i've really been thinking about that um definitely like this video if you would like to see a tutorial on um from start to finish from hair down to makeup down to my outfit so let me know like this video and tell me if you want to see I really hope you guys like this video. I have two other videos I'm gonna put out. I put out a vlog already and I'm gonna be putting out a video on how to make some extra cash. So definitely keep your eyeballs, your little peepers open for that. And I will see you in my next video. Peace out. Everlasting time, but time is everlasting, everlasting. I say we everlasting.